Hey guys, today Aunt Lou is with us. She is going to make a sloppy joe tater tot casserole in the casserole crock. Um, we are in our RV for just a little bit trying to get things fixed. All kinds of stuff is going on around here. But I thought I would intro just to let you know that that's what's going on. And so we got special star Aunt Lou with us today. All while having a whole lot of fun. Aunt Lou here and I am cooking Chris's dishes in Chris's camper kitchen but I'm Aunt Lou not Chris. We are going to be making a sloppy joe tater tot casserole. Sorry we've got lots of tater or taco casseroles going so I'm a little <laughs> okay so what you need for this very simple you need tater tots man witch because Chris and I are man witch girls and pound ground beef and then we're going to use half of this bag of cheese so you just need two cups of cheese and you're going to mix these three together put it in here and top it with this easy peasy so we're going to start with our cheese and we like medium cheese if you like sharp then go for it which side is the cups on? <laughs> <laughs> Improvise. Yep. All right, that's about two cups of cheese. And then we're gonna put in our already browned ground beef. Da, da, da. And then I'm going to... How big of a can? That's the big can of Manwich. Yeah, Chris decided to use by the 24 ounce. Yes. So we're gonna have lots of Manwich Manwichness. I have never used this can opener before, so bear with me. Can openers and I don't always get along. Oh my goodness. Oh, you gotta open it. Wow. I probably should. It's the kind where you won't cut yourself on it. Well, in theory. In theory. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily true for me. Am I doing this right? It doesn't feel like it's doing anything. Technical difficulties. Here. Big sister to the rescue. Hang on. Do we got it? I really do have lots of struggles with can openers. I well, and this like, is not your can opener. No, it so. is not. Because this is Chris's camper kitchen. <laughs> but you're the tater tot queen. Yes. Oh. Like that fancy. And did we mention we're camping partially fixing things so there's lots of uh ambient noise <laughs> okay oh you need a spoon, <gasps> I need a spoon. i'm glad i'm here <laughs> man this is a switch <laughs> i'm the boss today folks <laughs> chris is doing all my running all right so we here's got all the ground beef spoon okay that works perfect okay so here's the deal people if we had our cooking spray with us. I do not have any cooking spray, so I am just going to mix this up really well and get all the cheese and manwich and ground beef mixed all together. And then I am going to pour it in. And I know that there's people who don't like to use cooking spray all the time. I do just because I'm always terrified on anything but about soups or roast um that it's going and to yes stick. that is a donkey <laughs> <laughs> making quite a bit of noise yes <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get with us folks <laughs> so i'm just spreading this out all even and then we can't misuse misuse cheese it cannot stay on the spoon okay <laughs> Here is something that, so now we're gonna put the tater tots on. Something that you must pay attention to in the recipe. The tater tots must be frozen. If they are not frozen, they will not turn out as well. So who wants that? So we are going to spread out our frozen tater tots Put a lid on it and cook it on high for two hours, turning the insert halfway through because I haven't found a casserole crock yet that cooks evenly. And so when you, when you say turn, what do you mean? 
Ba-da. Ba-da. Just like Ba-da. the oven. Ta-da. <laughs> talented. Um, But anyway, so we are going to cook this for two hours on high, turning it half, turning the insert halfway through like I just showed you. And we will be back in three, two, one. And I'm back. And it is done. I let it cook for about two hours, turning the insert halfway through. I put it in the broiler for a few minutes um, to brown up these tater tots. You don't have to do that. That's just my personal preference. And now we are going to dish up some of this yumminess. Look at that, the cheese in there. And I'm not gonna fill up this bowl because we actually ate just a little bit ago. But you got your tots, your cheese, and your manwich, so let's give it a try and see if it's as amazing as it looks. Wait, you bet this is hot. really really good you don't even miss the bun for the manwich it is super super good highly recommend it um mikey has all the flowery words for the flavors it tastes good it's good it's yummy you'll like it so there you go you can see it up close instead of seeing my face up close <laughs> but if you like what you are seeing give this video a thumbs up if you would like to be a part of our crock posse family hit the subscribe button right next to the subscribe button is the ding -a ling and you can click that and youtube will let you know every time we post a new video about whatever you do laugh often eat good food and speak life bye stick a fork in me i'm done it's hot <laughs> okay ready oh i will not sneeze Okay, ready? No, I was getting a good zoom in shot on that. <laughs> if you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the page.